recently found the major challenge. If you beat this game, you win $2,000. He made an impossible difficulty that makes the game harder than you thought. But I decompiled the plugin. So I'm going to tell you 10 secrets in the code that will help you win more easily. And hey, before we start, please subscribe to this channel if you find this helpful. You are a vegetarian. That means if you eat meat, you died. But the truth is, after you eat any kind of meat or if you have a full food level, the plugin will show you a title and kill you 2 seconds later. So actually, you can eat whatever you want and then lock out immediately to avoid the punishment since the plugin cannot kill you when you are flying. 2 seconds later, you can join back and you are completely fine. Cat is annoying, especially in the game. You will die instantly if the cat's boots is far away from you or if it's deaf. This makes it almost impossible to travel in the ladder. But in fact, every time you join the server, the system spawns you a new cat with full health in front of you. This makes the game much more easier since you can reset the cat when it is dying or being annoying without using healing potion or waiting for her to teleport to you. Every time you chop down a tree or every time leaf decay, it spawns a ton of superficies and explosion signs. They are annoying. So why don't you find wood from a village or even mine shaft? You get nothing when you break a bed. It means you cannot collect bats from a village, but in fact, you can use a piston to destroy it since the plugin only prevents the player from breaking the bat but not the piston. Just craft a piston and you are ready to go. If you stand still for more than 7 seconds, the system will send you a bomb and they will kill you immediately. However, you can actually use this mechanism for mining. When the bomb drops, you log out from the server. If you count the time perfectly, you can dig the bait holes in a minute without killing yourself. You can get a lot of stone, irons, and any kind of stuff under the ground. This is the one I think you should definitely take advantage of. Ambush is an other annoying thing. The system will spawn a lot of axolotls and forces in front of you and they can kill you in a second. Every time the system sends you an ambush, it waits for a little bit before the next one. But you might not know this, that the link of the cooldown is related to the number of players. This means if you have a lot of players on the server, you'll get a longer cooldown even if they're in spectator mode. So you might want to have a lot of odd accounts on the server to avoid that. Sugarcane is an important source for books and potions but it is very dangerous in front of this difficulty. If you break it, it will explode and significantly damage the player. But as it turns out, it has got one crucial fall. In fact, you can destroy the block under it and you are completely fine. But just make sure you crash on the right block. If you somehow manage to go to the end and fight with the ender dragon, you will find that actually, you cannot use TNT or respawn anchor to damage the ender dragon. To kill the dragon, you must use a boat and straw with no shortcuts. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how can you kill the dragon from here. Huh, <laughs> not to mention, if you place down a bat, you will spawn another ender dragon, so don't even think about it. We all know Swampify Piglin is annoying. So of course, every zombie fighter piglin in the game is hostile by default. So you should be careful when you are in the nether. In fact, the axolotl is being ridden by an invisible zombie fighter piglin. This is the reason why they attack you. Getting insects is pretty important because Fundy changed the recipe of the eye of ender. You need nappers, insects, blaze powder, an enderpro to craft one. Funny thinks it is impossible to get insects because you need to grow underwater. However, you can actually get insects by fishing. All you have to do is sitting on a micas to avoid punishments and just wait for a little bit. So there you have it, 10 secrets in Funny's difficulty. And hey, if you learned something new or even just enjoyed the video, please consider subscribe and I will see you in the next video.